Hi guys, so we're going to do some videos over the coming next week uh, to 10 days. Um, something I've wanted to get into for a long time is 3D printing. I have a particular use for a 3D printer at the moment. Uh, one of the projects is something for the x computer. We are going to be making our own uh, Knobster. If anyone's familiar with one of these, it's uh, basically a dual encoder with a push button and uh, all I've got is the dual encoder here, PCB, the plastic knobs and an Arduino Uno uh, to uh, get it all working. So we are going to have to print an enclosure for it to fit both. I think if you buy this like that, it's about 120 quid. It's just, it's just, it was just a bit too pricey. I thought, you know what, the switch itself is an Elm. Uh, oh, I can't remember the the code. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be on the video when uh, when I actually get round to doing it. Uh, about 24 pounds. There's a company in Silverstone in the UK that uh, that stock this. Uh, so we've got that that from the same company uh, that you know I've had knocking around in a box for a few years so we'll get it all going hopefully design a box for it so that's one project uh, we well, I decided to go for a resin printer first of all one of the Nova 3D printers and, uh, and then I decided also to get one of the filament 3D, uh, 3D printers and that's the Ender 3 Pro. So this one there are a number of bags of uh, upgrades that seem to be quite uh, well thought of on the internet. So uh, just a little selection there, glass uh, build plate, and goggles, I can't even remember what was in there, mm, no, not sure. Uh, we have got some other bits and pieces to look at as well. We've got some Nova uh, 3D resin, uh, grey and black I think it was. That is a external hard drive which we'll be looking at and that is to go with a, a NetGem box which we have got to go with our new GigaClear ultra fast broadband which we're going to be doing a video on and discussing that so hopefully there'll be a bit going on over the next uh, week or two and if anyone's got any questions anything they want looked at in particular uh, on these 3d printers uh, as we make them up and give them a test or uh, the manhattan we've got a manhattan T3R I think it is. Again what's happening is I'm ditching Sky. Uh, we've all suffered during the last three months of lockdown and the one company that refused to help me uh, financially was Sky. Everybody else helped uh, from delaying credit card payments for three months to uh, delaying the car payments for three months all that sort of thing. Sky you couldn't downgrade your package online you had to ring them uh, when you, I could eventually get through and it took a few weeks to get through they refused to do anything they wouldn't uh, downgrade the package they wouldn't uh, do a payment break of any description and they said the only time will help is if you've signed up to all sorts of uh, uh, welfare uh, you know payments whatever oh, I don't even know what they are these days but if you're unemployed that sort of thing uh, then they might consider helping <laughs> Uh, but for uh, the likes of me no help whatsoever so after being with them for 13 14 years they are now ditched we've got to give them a month's notice uh, at the beginning I think it's mid August so I thought we would uh, get something else in place uh, and then get everything swapped over to the GigaClear system uh, but uh, we got GigaClear installed early it's a uh, ultra fast broadband um, fiber optic system that's just been installed recently in the uh, street and we're going to have a look at that and how that didn't go quite go to plan but it has at least allowed me to ditch uh, sky and uh, yeah and we won't be going back 
So we've got the NetGen box there that is currently supplied by GigaClear uh, on a special deal. Um, we'll talk about that again. We're going to do individual videos for all of these, but I just wanted to give you a feel of what's coming up on the channel over the next uh, week to 10 days because we haven't really done a hell of a lot with the channel for uh, for some time uh, so yeah that's what's coming as I say any questions uh, about any of this stuff that's the NetGem TV box Manhattan T3R um, Nova 3D resin printer or the Ender 3 Pro just uh, yeah let's have some questions and I can check things out uh, also, this weekend, apparently 1.6 million people are off to the pub. 10 million apparently on the road, off to visit friends and relatives because they can stay overnight. And on this very same day, electric scooters will be uh, allowed on the road legally to anyone who has a provisional or full driving licence. Uh, frankly I think it's all barking bloody mad and I notice on the news today that uh, there's another 36 areas that might possibly have to go back into lockdown uh, just like uh, Leicester have done so uh, any comments on uh, on any of this <laughs> let me know in the comments below